So let's see. Here is one video. Construction process. Car wash is built. The shipbuilding industry stands out from the other industries in the aspect that it is not based on unit production. So what does that mean? Let us explain. For example, in the automobile industry, cars of a particular model or design are produced on an assembly line since every product of a certain design is similar to the other. But ships are not constructed this way. Every ship is based on the owner's requirement, hence even if the basic hull design may be the same, the dimensions, capacity and systems used in one ship may be very different from another. The shipbuilding process is generally divided into a sequence which we will see in this video. But before that, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Procurement of Material After the contract has been signed between the client and the shipyard and the detailed design has been carried out, the materials specified by the design is procured by the tendering department of the shipyard. The detailed design already specifies the type of materials required for each part of the hull, the thicknesses and the grade of steel. Stowage of Plates Once the steel plates are procured by the shipyard, they are stored in the stockyard. Plates of different thicknesses and grades are available in standard dimensions. There are usually two positions of stowing plates, vertical stowage and horizontal stowage. Many modern shipyards carrying out Multiple projects also practice methods of plate stowage scheduling at the same time. In this method, each plate is marked with the project it has been designated to and they are stored in an order that is synchronous with the working schedule or the master plan of the shipyard. Plate Preparation or Surface Preparation When a plate is brought to the shipyard from a steel plant, it is not ready to be used for construction. Hence, it needs to be prepared for the same. This includes two major processes, straightening and removal of residual stress. The plate obtained by rolling in the steel plant is not completely straight, though it may visually appear to be so. Plates may also be mangled during transit from plant to shipyard. Hence, the straightening is carried out once the plate reaches the shipyard. Priming and Drying The plate is passed into a chamber in which a primer is sprayed on complete surface. Priming protects the steel from corrosion. The primer applied is usually a zinc rich coating and it should be chosen such that it does not interfere with the welding and bending of plates. Plate Cutting The surface treated plates are to be cut into desired shapes and size in order to be developed to the required three dimensional shape or used as straight plates for other structural components. Plate Bending A ship's hull usually has multiple curvatures unless only straight plates are used in the design. It might seem quite easily achievable on a 3D modeling software package, but production of the same is a complex process. Mom. Mom, if I'm dead, I'm going to die. That's what I'm going to do. Special methods are used by the shipyard 
to bend and develop steel plates and stiffeners to require 3D curvatures in order to make them fit the shape of the hull. Assembly Once the plates and frames are prepared and given the required shape, they are welded according to the structural drawings prepared by the design department of the shipyard. The hull is divided longitudinally into blocks and each block is again divided into assemblies and sub-assemblies. During the shipbuilding process, each ship block is brought to the building dock where they are erected with cranes as per the welding sequence. After each erection, welding is carried out on block joints. Improvement in alignment are made by use of proper jigs for curved shell panels, by using laser alignment tools and by use of proper welding techniques that have lower heat input. Most of the machinery, especially those which are bigger in size, are fitted during this process. The ship is ready from the outside and is then painted using anti-fouling paints to reduce hull corrosion and resistance. Launching Many big shipyards now construct ships on building docks which are then flooded and the ship is towed out to the outfit basin by using tugs. But most shipyards still follow the traditional process of launching a ship. Today, launching methods have become safer and more proactive in approach as computer programs helps the engineers to estimate the load on the ship during launch. Outfitting After launching, the ship is berthed in a fitting out basin for completion. The main machinery together with auxiliaries, piping systems, deck gear, lifeboats, accommodation equipment, plumbing systems and rigging are installed on board along with whatever insulation and deck coverings are necessary. Sea trials once all the construction and outfitting work is completed, the sea trials are carried out by the shipyard authority in the presence of designated representative of the ship's owner and ship surveyor. Some tests include ship trials, turning circle test, crash stop test, zigzag or camp overshoot maneuver, spiral maneuver, engine trials and Aston test. Shipbuilding is a complicated process which involves several departments working together to build a vessel which is not just seaworthy but is also equally efficient in terms of both operations and economics. Professor, professor, yeah. How long does how long this, does this take? Take average, average. Uh, usually, big ships takes small ships usually similar about thirty months nowadays. Uh, they are trying to reduce them more and more. We can say that is the way of increasing the productivity. Very similar to reduce the shortening the time for constructing a house or apartment building. The con construction company want to finish up the whole process to reduce the time to, to manage lower down the cost. And also similar to any manufacturing companies. So anyway. The ship is about 30 months nowadays. What about the cost? What the cost like? Is it like the range of like, of like hundreds of or tens of millions of millions? Cost of what? Cost of like, cost of like, you said it's said some, like, some like customers, customers who want to, want to, to have a ship, have a ship, they, head, they have a ship, they ship, and, and then. Oh, to, to build a, a ship. 
the yeah. whole course, yeah. right? Uh, uh, there is uh, many newspapers, news about the new contract to Korean shipyard. So that uh, is depending on the size. So it's very similar to how much money to build a building. A building with a, uh, three floors or building of 100 floors, there should be big differences, right? So it's depending on the size and also depending on the type of the ship. Uh, here, it, the ship is looks like a bulk cargo in this uh, picture. And bulk cargo is the, uh, one of the cheapest type of the ship. And expensive one is looks something like an LNG carrier, liquefied mm -hmm. gas carrier, or cruise ship. And with size, so let me say the uh, biggest, not biggest, the big cruise ship of size of say 3,000 passenger, then it may cost about say billion dollar. Wow. Ship. wow. Billion. No? Uh, right, billion dollar. Right. That's expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> but usually the uh, LNG carrier say 500 million. Mm. 500 million. Big, big LNG carrier. Nowadays, just a Korean mm. shipyard is building such one. Right. Mm -hmm. And here it, the ship looks like a, a medium sized one. It may say 100 million, something. That is my estimation. But you, you can find out from Googling of ship cost. All right. Any other questions? Uh, professor, uh, professor. Uh, I, have, uh, I have one question. One question. Sure. Uh, I wonder why the, the outfitting, outfitting and light port like are installed, are installed uh, after, launching. after launching. Oh, not before not launching. Before launching. Yeah. Not before launching. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Good question. Uh, traditionally, from the history, they are the people who are doing that kind of work is very different. If you think about the constructing of a building, they start from building the, the structure first, the concrete, uh, including the steel structure nowadays. But in old days, there is no steel structure inside. But anyway, the total concrete uh, structure was con constructed first. After that, they put uh, piping, they put uh, skin skin of the building say so windows and tiles and inside then then there is a uh, electrical cabling air conditioning and then then finally the uh, furnitures right that is a usual sequence but your your question is why not doing simultaneously or together Right. That, right. Is, <laughs> that, that is the difficult to, to do because of the conflict between them and also complex or uh, different domains. People are do, doing different way of working. But anyway, the shipyard itself, they want to do very uh, keen to reduce the time to completion. So nowadays, there are more and more work is uh, going together. And that co concept is coming with a modular construction. So the ship is divided into, say, in this picture, the ship can be divided into 20 pieces or blocks or modules. And then each block or module can be outsourced from outside companies, each one to each company, 20 companies, let me say. And then they do work their own way, but completed modules. 
20 pieces of ships completed, including structure and outfitting together. And then putting back to the shipyard to uh, stitching them together, assembly. By that way, we can reduce the constant time very much. And that way is also similarly uh, tried in construction companies too, to build a high rise building. They use a modular construction. So modules of a uh, building is fabricated outside of the site and bring back transported and then it looks like a Lego block thing together to reduce the uh, whole construction period. But you, you may uh, uh, expect that the process is very complicated. But anyway, that is ongoing project in, in every many of industry domains to do the simultaneous structure and outfitting uh, production together. But once again, the traditionally in all the state, all the years, they did do that kind of thing separate in sequence. We say this is a, a parallel construction or a, Uh, or sequential in the old days, sequential. Okay. Any other question? No. Let me go on to next slide. Okay. And then we go on to engineering economics. So it is economics, but economics only for engineering. So you, as you are engineers, you need to know about economics. Otherwise your design can be very wrong to customer. So that the aim of uh, engineering economics is to make an investment as rewarding as possible. So ROI uh, is a keyword here. So return on investment is important for the anybody including customer right they pay money to build his ship or myself i borrow big money from the bank to build my home or to buy my car but return on my investment should be higher okay? so how can you count calculate how much return is coming in terms of money so basic concept is that money does you no good until it is spent. Okay. I have a big money, say million dollars in my bank account, but I can be very poor with, without using all of them. Okay. I, my car, my house, my eating food can be very poor if I do not use money. I like to see my big money well, I don't want to use my money. So that is the way. So money is good only it is spent. And then also another uh, basic concept is the present money. Say if I say to you that I can give you a hundred dollar today or hundred twenty dollar next year or 10 years later, what do you choose? Can you choose? No. Hundred. No. Right. Go ahead. Answer. Maybe no. 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 Like today or no? Today or no. <laughs> so today, one hundred dollar. Oh, one years after, one hundred ten dollar. Which one you prefer to choose? Yeah, I'll, I'll, prefer I'll, today. I'll prefer today. Today, right. But if you put that money to the bank for one year, you cannot get 110 after one year of bank deposit, right? Because of the interest rate is very low in Korea now, or over the world, something. 
it, can, it cannot be a 10% of interest rate. It is about only 2% something. So money-wise, under 10 or after one year is higher, right? But it is up to your uh, subjective mind and also other things. So anyway, that kind of thing, we are calling, say, discount future cash flow. How much money? Say, if I put or I borrow some money and then pay back to the bank in one year, then that what can be the money I should pay back? That is depending on the interest rate now. Right? That kind of thing is calculated in engineering terms. And also shipbuilding, because many of the customer of shipbuilding companies they do not use their own money. They borrow money, big money from the bank. So it can be, as I say, billion dollar to build a cruise ship. And then it, it is matter, it matters how much is the interest rate and how much money should I borrow and how much money I should pay to the bank as a interest. Uh, additional money to, to pay. So it is important. If it is big money and it takes 30 months of, months of construction. So after I explain this one, you can have a break. So present money and future money, what can be the difference? In say this uh, picture shows that starting from uh, zero, zero and Horizontal axis is a timeline. I guess it is a month. Time is month one, month two, months, and up to 10 months. Or you can say this is a 10 years. And cash flow and discounted accumulated cash flows. If I uh, borrow uh, $100,000 from the bank and then I pay back the money monthly or yearly because I uh, earn money using that money I borrowed, I say $25,000 per month. Okay? And after uh, four and a half years, months, I can pay back all of them. Okay? But if you include the uh, interest rate calculation, the yellow line is the real situation because future money is not same as a present money. So that is an interest rate matters. But that kind of thing we need to calculate as an engineering coming. And also because it takes 30 months to build a ship and most of money is borrowed from the bank and the money is, itself is a very big money billion dollar. Right? So there is a complicated financial and, and systems that support to handling that process and construction. All right. Questions? No? Then we may have a break.